I started at Hillcrest my freshman year, and I joined the cheer team, but unfortunately, I have a dislocation. You know, I'm double jointed, so my arm doesn't fully extend, both of them. And then, middle of my junior year, I got diagnosed with Bell Palsy, and the left side of my face was frozen. It was the hardest thing, even more than being double jointed. It was just like one thing after another. You know, she started out with, you know, getting diagnosed with the congenital dislocation when she was young. And then the end of my junior year, I was stuck with nine credits. And so my counselors, we all had a meeting. My mom, principals were like, something has to be done or you're not gonna graduate, you know, on time with your class. At the beginning of the year, you know, we realized, okay, well, she was still short. So she needed to do Reconnect and Evening Academy along with having a full course load. So I went to summer school, I did night school, I did reconnect, I've done everything that I can possibly do to get here and to be here at this moment. Now I have 22.5 credits. I'm gonna graduate with 27.5. Words can't express how proud I am of her. To know that no matter what life throws at her, that she won't just lay down, that she'll keep fighting. I'm gonna try for the cheer team at UTA. Hopefully my journey continues. I'm going to major in kinesiology, like physical therapy, athletic training. I've been through that a lot, so that's something where if I can help someone like they helped me, I'm all for it. For a while, it was like, I guess doubt was a big play in it. Not accepting myself, but now I accept me. The fact that I've seen her grow from a ninth grader all the way to a mature young lady, I'm just, I'm thrilled. Once I walk across that stage, I'm gonna like fall like I bet a whole river because not only that I did it, but like my work, it was enough, more than enough.